Hi everybody, Emma here from Inkilicious. Today I want to show you how to do um, our lovely forest stag card. So, what I'm going to start with first is, and I'm just going to show you this on a piece of black paper, well against a piece of black paper. Um, I have got my card, which is uh, just our normal stamping card, and it measures 15 centimetres by 15 centimetres around each side. And what I've done is I've taken my ruler and I have just measured this and measured halfway, which is seven and a half on each side. And I've just done a tiny little pencil mark. So just do that on each side of your square card. Then what you're going to take is your stencil tape and you're literally just going to tear this off and we're going to do point to point. So from that point to this point and again from this point to this point and just make sure you smooth it down and again we're going to do the top two points so from that point to that point and again that point to that point now what you need to do then is just carry on covering the rest of these corners with your stencil tape. Um, I've already done that just so you don't have to watch the boring bits. There we are. So I know it's all covered up and it's all pressed down really nice and firmly. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come in and we're going to use some colour first. The two colours I have chosen are the new Dye Eyes Inks, um, Cerise and Murdy Suds. So this is a really nice hot pink and this is a really nice... Um, kind of like aqua blue. So I am going to use these with my ink dusters. So I've got my pink end here. I'm going to dip, just dab it onto my small blending mat. There we go. And it just means I'm not going to be putting too much on. And I'm literally just going to bring this on, put some colour on this card wherever I want it. So I actually squeeze my bristles for this, if you can just see there. And I'm going to bring them back, can you see? And it just means I'm going to get a nice heavy bit of ink just where I want it. There we go. So we're going to bring this down a little bit. What you can also do whilst you're doing this is just hold your stamp over the actual image. And you'll just be able to see where it would be nice with colour. So we're going to do a little bit there. Maybe bring a little bit down in the side. And just a hint over here. There we go. So we're going to bring a bit of blue onto this as well. I think they blend really nicely these as well. So again, I'm going to dip. I'm going to dab it on my blending mat. Just so I'm not using too much. And I'm going to bring it in. Just bring it over that pink. There we go. So just kind of getting a bit of heavy colour on there really. There we go. Again, I'm going to bring some more up here the sides and again just a little bit down this edge so I know it looks really bright at the moment but once we get the black over this it's going to really kind of come in and tone it down so I'm happy with that bit of colour on there we're then going to take our black memento there we go we'll just get these out of the way so I've got my ink duster to start with on this with my black end I'm going to pick some of this ink up, there we go, just so you can see me doing that. Again, I'm going to dab it on to my blending mat, just so I don't have too much on my ink, on my, uh, on my blending brush. And I'm going to use this just to come in and get a little bit of colour at the bottom. There we go. So I'm using my ink just to, just to blend some of this black here. There we go. So once you've got that bit blended with these, what you can then do is take some of your cut and dry foam. I actually cut mine um, into a little bit of a round edge and it just means when I'm using it I get a bit of a better blend and I don't get any sharp lines. So I'm going to dip that into my black ink and I'm going to come straight onto this card now. There we go. And we're just going to get some heavy black on. The reason I'm using the uh, cut and dry for this is because I need really heavy effect and if I try and do it with the ink dusters I'm just going to be there 
um, pushing the stencil tape up. So I just need this cut and dry to build that colour up and it's just a little bit gentler around my stencil tape. There we go. So you can see the colour of the black is really building up now. And just as I'm going over the little bits of pink and blue, you can see it's just toning them down a little bit as well. So we're going to carry on with the colour. There we go. All around this. Again, just still be gentle with those edges and you cut and dry. Because you don't want to push that stencil tape up. There we go. There we are. So again, I'm going to just keep bringing it in down these sides. And there we go. And again, just over the edges here as well. So just until you're happy with this colour, um, I again, you can always hold your stag over the actual image and you know what it's going to look like over this. So I think I've got quite enough of the darker black in this. And I can just start, just to blend it in a little bit. There we go. So I'm going to actually go back to my ink duster for this. And it just means I can get a little bit of a smoother blend. There we go. That's it. A little bit more there, I think. Sometimes stippling over this little bit helps as well. There we go. So I'm quite happy with that. If you feel like you've lost a, a fair bit of colour out of them, you can always come back in with them pink, pink inks and the blue inks. And again, just get that colour a little bit more vibrant. There we go. So I'm really happy with the black background on that. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to use a white Posca pen. So these are really good paint pens. The only thing I actually use this for, and I use it just for this, they are absolutely brilliant pens, is if you just push the head down for two seconds, I'm going to use my other pen just to tap it and I'm literally just going to tap like this and we're going to get some nice starry speckles. So you find the just the right size as well. When I've tried doing this with other things, I tend to get big splodges, big, big drops where I don't want them. This is perfect for your nice guys. There we go. And I'm just going to come in and just draw a few bigger stars in there. You could even draw a shooting star, which I've done on one of mine. And I'm making sure as well that I draw these stars where I don't have any colour. Otherwise, you'll end up with um, pink and blue stars. So just make sure you're doing these where you've got the black ink rather than the pink and the blue. So we can put a little constellation in there as well. And there we go. So again, once again, I'm really happy with that. I am just going to take, um, it's just a handwriting pen is this, I find if I use a pen that's too inky sometimes it can leak under the tape um, or under the stencil if you're using a stencil. So I find um, like the Beryl handwriting pens, or just this is just a handwriting pen, uh, I'm just going to use this to go around the edge. So I'm going to start at the top, press it against that stencil tape and just pull it down nice and slowly. So we're going to do the same, but I'm not going to do it right down to the bottom of this one, just to about there. So again, the top bit, hold it down. Don't worry if you go off your stencil tape like I just did as well. Um, you just find your line again. There we go. And again, we're going to come down, but not all the way. I think that should be fine. So when you've got to that stage, you can take your stencil tape off and you're going to want to give it a really good dry. There we are. So we're going to take all of this off and I'm going to do it in the order that I put it on I think so these little bits can come off and luckily I have actually got one that I did earlier just to save a little bit of time um, and to save you watching me have to pull this off but it is quite fun to see what you're left with so let's have a look. There we go. There we go. 
just being gentle as well because I don't want to tear anything. Yeah. That's it. Put that bit off there. There we go. So that's going to be a really nice galaxy background. Um, again, when you're making cards like this, you don't just have to use the stag that I've used in this as well. There's all sorts of things that you could stamp on there with this. So like I say, you need to give this a good dry off with your heat gun. Um, again, so you don't have to watch me um, dry mine off. What I've actually done is got one that I did earlier and I've already dried it off. So we're going to carry on and we're going to get stamping on this. Let's go. So I've got my stag stamp and for this bit now what I'm actually going to do is just move the piece of black card just because I don't want any lines where I'm stamping or anything I'm stamping under. So I'm going to stamp it in my Versifying Claire. Um, it's a really nice idea to, um, to emboss this as well. On my actual sample card I have embossed that but I haven't got my embossing powder in my pot at the side of me so I'm just going to do this one um, with the normal stamping for now and it's entirely up to you how you want to change these you could use some gems in the background some pearl drops there's all sorts of things you can do just to jazz this up now so I'm going to bring this closer to me and I, I quite like to stamp on this way so I'm just going to spin it that way while I actually stamp this on um, and I want to do it I'm just going to say about there, there we go, giving it a good push, just making sure it's got a nice stamp on there, there we go. So again I'm really happy with that, I've not got as much of the deer in with this one, but on the other one what I'm going to do is stamp this one as well, so again it's just to show you, um, so we'll get this and this time what we'll do is we'll stamp this one a little bit further up. There we go. So let's do this one. Again, I'm going to spin it on my side just because I like stamping that way. Um, and we're going to get the deer right in now. So we just pulled him up a little bit. There we go. Again, just making sure I'm giving it a good press and a good stamp. There we go. That's fantastic. I'll pull it over that bit so you can see it a little bit better. Uh, now, before we mat and layer this up, I'm just going to give it a dry, just because I don't want to smudge anything. So while we're at it, what we'll do is we'll drive them both, and then we'll decide which one wants to uh, be matted up. Mm. So we've got lots of different stencil shapes that this will actually work with as well. I'm going to show you a couple more samples at the end that I've done. Again, just having a little bit of a play. So they really do stand out. They look fantastic. Um, and, you know, you can give these to, to somebody at any time of the year. You can turn them into Christmas cards. They make really nice birthday cards. You can actually do this design and use our silhouette couple at the bottom, which would be really nice as an anniversary card. So there's lots of different things you can do with this kind of background. There we go, so I'm happy with that. Um, which one shall I mat and layer up? Let's go for, I'll go for this one. So I've actually already got my card here ready to go. And I'm just gonna get some tape on this. And I am gonna do this really quickly. Uh, so you're not sat here again, watching me doing the boring stuff. A little bit up there, yeah. I would normally put a little bit more on, but like I say, I'm doing this for speed more than anything, just to show you. So we will make sure that they're the right way round, and I'm going to just get this. Um, let's try that. That should be alright. There we go. So there you have it I'm really really happy with that it's such a fun design to play with as well um, so I'm just going to show you some of the other samples that I've been playing with doing doing this kind of background so we've got the 
one of our new large bauble stencils. Um, and again, this time, the colours that I've used are uh, um, the Murder Sud and Favine in the eye zinc. So again, really nice bright colours. Um, and I've added a little bow onto that one. And the other one I've done is I've done um, a square. So again, I've just used my stencil tape to make this square. Um, done the inside and then again stamped the image on the edge. And again, just for a little bit of a different approach, I did some with um, a nice diamond stencil that we've got. So you actually get both size stencils with this one as well. So thanks for watching guys, I hope um, you uh, can follow this video and I'd love to see some of your results as well. Um, you can post anything on our Facebook page. Thanks for watching and hope to see you again soon. Bye!